Hey guys, Tamano here. In this video, I'm going to be comparing Beauty of Joseon Matte Sunstick with Tokobo Cotton Soft Sunstick. If this is something you're interested in, then make sure to keep on watching. Wait. So this is not a first impression video because I have reviewed both of these sunscreens individually. Do tap the link on the screen to watch my sunscreen playlist or check the description box for individual links. So the first thing I'm going to do is hand swatch. I'm going to be putting a docobo on this side. I hope you guys can see something. Okay, so next will be the beauty of Joseon Sunstick on this side. <laughs> it's really hard trying to swatch it this way, but whatever. <laughs> I hope you guys can see this as well. Do you guys see any difference at all? I really can't see anything. They look almost the same to me. Let me know what you think in the comment section. So I'm going to start first with the Tokobo one. To be honest, with these sunsticks, you can't really tell how much you're applying, if that makes sense. So what I would say is apply how you like. To be honest because you may see me rep, um, apply this and you could be like what i'm applying is too much so apply it as you desire so i'm going to do four swipes so this is one swipe going with the second one Going with the third one now. Now going with the fourth swipe. So I have successfully done four swipes on this side of my face. So I'm gonna go on to apply the BT of Juice one on this side. So one pass done, going with the second pass. Now going in with the third pass. Now the fourth pass. So on this side has the Tokobo and on this side has Beauty of Joseon. Tokobo, Beauty of Joseon. I'm going to take you guys outside to see what it looks like side by side with natural light. Then I'll come back in to blend. So you guys just saw what I look like with natural light and I must see there's an obvious difference, but I'd like to know what you think. Um, the Tokobo side has more shine, whereas the BT of Joseon side has less shine. Although the BT of Joseon side is starting to have a bit of shine here, but if you look at my forehead, here has more shine than this side. I'm just going to go on to blend them in. Oops, I just took out my nose ring. <laughs> So I'm done blending in the side that has the Tokobo Sun stick and this is what I have. So now I'm going to blend in the one with Beauty of Joseon but I won't be using this one. Okay, so I'm done blending in both of them. 
and um, here has the Tokobo one and here has the BTO Joseon one. I'm going to come forward so you guys can see and also take you guys outside to see what it looks like in natural or with natural light. Tokobo BTO Joseon. So let's go out to see what this looks like with natural light. So in natural light, there was an obvious difference to me. Let me know if you guys spot any difference or if you feel like they are similar. Let me know in the comment section. I'm going to go off camera right now to apply makeup on my face and I'll be back to reapply with the sun sticks. Now that I have makeup on, it's time for me to reapply. I'm going to start first with the Tokobo Cotton Soft Sun Stick on this side where I applied it on my bare skin. You guys. <laughs> I'm not happy. See, it is taking off my makeup. So because I don't want my eyes to get, like my eye area to get messy, I'm going to skip there and just move on here. So one swipe done, second swipe. Let's do the third one. Proceed with the fourth one. See what my sun stick looks like. Let me move to the beauty of Joe's one sun stick. So with Beauty of Joseon, I can see that the product is making my face look more powdery, which is why it's a matte sun stick. The silica here is doing what it ought to do. I'm just going to go in with the second swipe. Now going in with the third swipe. Now with the fourth swipe. This is what the sun stick looks like. Also gross in my opinion. I'm going to come forward to show you guys my face. Chocobo. Beauty of Joseon. What do you guys think? If you look closely, there's a bit of build up here and there's also a bit of build up on this side, which is fine. I don't get how you guys, you know, use sun sticks for reapplication over your makeup. It's just, it doesn't just work for me. Um, There's definitely a difference, very obvious difference. Here has way more shine than this side. Here is matte, whereas here has, you know, Look, look going on a lot of people were asking how do you clean you know your sun sticks after using it on your skin or over makeup there are like should i see there are like three ways you can do it you can just use the back of your palm and swipe it all out you can see it's already reducing then you wipe your wipe the back of your palm or the simple way that i do it i use a paper towel i just slightly clean and i also hold the stick somehow so that it doesn't you know break because if you apply so much force the stick is going to break and the final one is to use a wet wipes i don't have a wet wipe here but you can use wet wipes to just clean it up and you're good i hope this answers your question um a lot of people also ask if this won't um you know 
if the sun sticks won't you know get bacteria or develop bacteria global i think global ramon mentioned this in one of his videos and he said that these sun sticks or even your deodorants they are all formulated to not keep or hold bacteria if that makes sense so you're definitely fine so it's all clean now all right so i'm gonna start with the claims the beauty of joseon claims to leave one skin as shine free as possible and um it's you know doing not badly right there whereas the tokobo one says that it controls oil and sebum and it leaves you a matte finish I don't see the matte finish right here, but if you definitely blend this into your skin, it gives you a very, very, very soft matte finish. Very skin-like in my opinion. One thing I've noticed with sun sticks is that on my skin, when I apply it, I have to blend it in immediately. If I don't blend it in immediately, it's going to leave me with a shine or it's going to leave me with a cast. So I have to blend, especially these two, which I've tried. So imagine if this was on my bare skin, I would have just used my fingers to like rub in. But of course, it's um, on makeup, I cannot blend in the sun stick, if that makes sense. The Tokobo sun stick is recommended for people who have sensitive skin, whereas the Beauty of Joseon Mask sun stick is for people who have oily skin. In terms of price, they both retail for $18 each. Um, although you can get them cheaper depending on the sites you're buying them from. I'm going to leave some links in the description box so make sure you check it out and decide. So type of sunscreen. The Tokobo sun stick is a hybrid sunscreen whereas the Beauty of Joe sun sun stick is a chemical sunscreen. So let's move to fragrance or let's move to how they smell. I'm going to start first with the Tokobo one. This has like a scent to it. It's not overpowering or anything sometimes it smells fresh and sometimes it smells like a deodorant i actually do like how the tokobo one smells whereas the beauty of joseon one it has no smell per se but <laughs> i'm perceiving something that i can't pick and trust me you may not smell that or pick it my nose is just quite sensitive do they sting the eyes? Um, I can't remember for Tokobo in regards to my previous review. Um, but today it didn't sting my eyes. Nothing. I did actually swipe through. I believe I did that. Um, nothing has happened so far. If it did sting my eyes previously, I'm just going to leave it on the screen so that you guys are aware or in the description box. Whereas the beauty of Joseon 1 doesn't sting the eyes i absolutely love it and i use it mostly around my eye area when i apply other sunscreens that do sting my eyes so this one is a very good um sun stick for the eye area in my opinion so that's pretty much it guys i hope you guys found this video helpful if you did find it helpful please give this video a thumbs up like it share it subscribe down below please subscribe to my channel like just hit the button that's pretty much it and i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys thank you so much for watching and do have a wonderful wonderful week